air fry egg cups. They are just this fantastic little snack that you can make in the air fryer. I eat them the most for breakfast or at picnics and it's like a crustless quiche that you load into little uh, silicone muffin uh, tins, cook them in the air fryer and they are fantastic. You can choose whatever fillings that you want in them, though today we'll be showing you a method to do it with cheese, onion and tomato. Hello, my name is Samantha and I'm from the blog RecipeThis.com and also the voice behind the Kitchen Gadgets podcast, Magic With Gadgets. Today, myself and my husband who will be behind the camera will be showing you the easiest of the easy, healthy air fryer and instant pot recipes. The ideal for beginners to instant pot air fryers but want something healthy that is just ridiculously easy to do and just perfect for when you're starting out with your new kitchen gadgets. And of course, this is part of our project of healthy instant pot and air fryer recipes. And don't forget to comment below with which kitchen gadgets you have and also to subscribe to our channel and join our mailing list over at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter as we do have some amazing learn your air fryer and learn your instant pot courses to help you get you started on your kitchen gadgets journey. Okay, so this is how we do egg cups for the air fryer or you might call them mini omelettes or you might call them crustless quiche bites. Whatever you call them, they are absolutely delicious and the thing I eat the most for breakfast in the Milner house because what I do is I prep them, then do the school run and come back to them ready to eat and enjoy. So you start by cracking about three eggs in your jug. go three eggs in and then my aunt was the one that taught me how to make quiche and she was never one for measurements so she used to always say to me Samantha add enough milk until the eggs are pale you know rather than having an actual measurement amount so if you mix your eggs and when they kind of look a bit paler then if you just mix some eggs on their own then you know you've added enough milk. So, tiny little bit more milk. I may add, you can also do them like a traditional omelette and literally just beat an egg and then just use that as a mixture. But what I found when you do that is it really doesn't go very far and you only make a very small amount of egg cups for your money. So it seems a waste. And if you want to go like an Italian frittata, which I think are absolutely delicious, you can instead use something like fromage fray or a thick Greek yogurt instead. Or for the Weight Watchers crowd, I would actually recommend a fat-free yogurt. And they come out really, really creamy like a traditional potato, and that is lovely. So once you've mixed the, mixed the egg mixture up, which is just three eggs and a bit of milk, it's ready for filling your egg cups. Just any of the silicone muffin, things that you get. Uh, there's a lot of them that you can buy for the actual air fryer and the fantastic. And also, when you've used them and cooked them, there is very little mess in them, so they're very easy for washing up afterwards. So in ours today, we're using red onions. So just spread them out between the different muffin things. I love red onion and it's fantastic in them. I normally, when I'm doing them for breakfast, I actually do um, mixed peppers and tomatoes. Um, but my husband hates peppers and I thought it would be nice while he's behind the camera that he has something nice to snack on. So these are for him, which is cheese, onion and tomato. And also you can take these on picnics in the summer. They don't have to be breakfast. Or next time you've got a family gathering to go and you're in charge of the potluck, then this can be your potluck. So then after the onions, um, add some tomato in. These cherry tomatoes I've got, I live in Portugal and it gets um, 
it gets the best tomatoes I've ever seen here. So these cherry tomatoes are a lot bigger than most people's. So you won't be able to, you might be able to fit more in yours than what we can in ours. So I'm just going with one cherry tomato chopped in half for each of them. And then of course there is the cheese. What I recommend with the cheese is you add some first and then you can add a bit more on top if that's your thing. But you can't actually fit that much in these little pots, unlike if you were doing a quiche traditionally. Um, this is cheddar cheese I'm using, but any grated cheese will do the trick. And we also love Philadelphia when it's warm as well, so you could include this if you wanted to as well. So once you've done that, it's time to pour in your eggs. I would say do it slowly because they fill up so, so fast. So there you go. You want to take it to about three quarters. As you can see, it holds quite a lot. Apologise for that noise in the background. I've got a snoring dog. She'll have me in hysterics in a minute with my snor with her snoring. Well, she never shuts up. Should hear her during the night. And there you have it. We've done our six. And as you can see, we have still actually got some uh, milk and egg left over. So, you know, you could do, do maybe seven or eight out of this recipe. But we're just demonstrating doing six. And then, of course, if you want to, add a bit more cheese on top. So who doesn't love cheese? Well, actually, my dad hates it. I don't know what's wrong with him. He should love cheese. It's just one of those great, delicious foods. And there you go. They're ready to go in the air fryer. So now they're ready for the air fryer. So grab your air fryer basket. And now you need to be very careful with putting them in. Let me give you a demonstration about how difficult it can be. If you look there, you can see they're just so flimsy as silicone moulds. Sometimes what I've actually done is I've actually put them inside a baking pan so they're easier to get in and out because it's very easy to spill the mixture. And that's why I, that's why I recommend not filling them too, too, too full because otherwise it just goes everywhere. But my air fryer generally ends up a mess because my four-year-old absolutely loves helping me make them and wants to put them in. And then he ends up pouring most of it into the bottom of the air fryer. But he looks at me with that cute face and I still let him do it. So there you have it. Just make sure you've got rid of any little bits of cheese that have gone astray. Because we all like more cheese, right? So there they are, ready to go in the air fryer. So as you can see them there. They're nice, they're looking good, and they're ready to be air fried. So then, in the air fryer they go. So, if you want to be doing a, a temperature of 180 Celsius, 360 Fahrenheit, and a cook time of 12 minutes. Take it for 12 minutes, and get it started. And there's the beef. So we check on our egg cups. Oh wow, they absolutely look beautiful. Let me give you a close-up of them. Aren't they fantastic? They look beautiful. They look like just little quiches. So now I want to show you just how simple they are for getting out these muffin tins. I may add they're very hot. So what you can do is you can tip them upside down like that, turn them around and they're perfect. And even better, have a look at how clean that silicone mould is. People say, I'm not wasting money on air fryer accessories, but this is the be all and end all of air fryer accessories just because of how easy it is for you to clean. So let's do the rest. As you can see, sometimes when you make omelettes, they can hold a lot of water and look, these don't. You'd have a mess in them, wouldn't you, if you did? That one is slightly stuck to it, but it's more that it's hot. I should really use gloves, shouldn't I? I always forget to and then leave them in a cupboard somewhere. 
So there you have it. They're the six. I may add that there was only one that stuck a bit, if you look there. But that was the worst case scenario, and that's out of six of them. And I haven't had one stick for ages. And I think it's that some of the tomato came off and stuck to the side. But apart from that, absolutely lovely. And I can't wait to tuck into these with Dominic. So please comment below with which bread maker and air fryer you have at home in your kitchen. Uh, here in the Milners, uh, we have just a cheap bread maker that we got from Amazon Germany that we had shipped to us. And we also use the Philips Air Fryer XL, uh, which we've had for a few years now. And if you are into air fryers and bread makers, do head over to recipethis.com as we have a lot of recipes for you to choose from there and all the recipes that we're mentioning in these videos you can find over there too. Thanks for watching. We have a huge collection of kitchen gadget recipes including air fryer instant pots, slow cooker, soup maker and many others. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media. Best of all, join our newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter. There we have plenty of principles, cooking time cheat sheets, free ebooks and mini courses to help you along your way in your kitchen gadgets journey.